Hi everyone, today we're going to study Half-Life Decay Model. This is an application of exponential and logarithmic functions. For Half-Life Decay Model, given an organism is represented by this circle and the organism decays into half given a certain time. We have a formula which is A equals A sub 0 times 2 raised to negative of fraction T over H where A is the amount of organism at time T. This A sub 0 is the amount of organism at time t equals 0. The h is the half-life of the organism and this is given in the problem. The t is the time that corresponds to a and this is the a. Let us have example 1. The initial mass of an iodine isotope was 200 grams. Determine the iodine mass after 30 days if the half-life of the isotope is 8 days. First, let us collect the given. The A sub 0 equals 200 grams. The H equals 8 days and the T equals 30 days. Then let us write the formula A equals A sub 0 times 2 raised to negative T over H. Let us now substitute the values. The A sub 0 is now 200. The 2 is a constant. The negative T, which is 30, divided by the H, which is 8. Let us simplify the fraction. We have this 30 divided by 8 is 3.8. 75. So the exponent is negative 3.75. To simplify further, this value is equal to 0 0.07433. We'll just copy the 200 down here. Then we will take the product and the answer is 14.87. This is the iodine mass after 30 days. Now, for a quick computation using calculator, from this equation, we can use our calculator and put this data. First is the 200 times 2, then the symbol raised to open parenthesis, the negative 30 divided by 8, then close parenthesis. Then we hit the equal sign and the answer will come, the 14.87. So this is our final answer. Example 2, the half-life of plutonium dash 241 is 3 years. How much of an initial 2 gram sample will remain after 5 years? Let us first collect the given. The A sub 0 equals 2 grams. The H or the half life equals 3 years. And the T is equal to 5 years. Then let us write our formula. 
then we will substitute now the values. So a equals the a sub 0 becomes 2 times the constant 2 raised to the fraction negative. The t becomes 5 divided by h becomes 3. Then we will simplify further. This negative 5 over 3 is equal to negative 1.66667. Then we will simplify this part. We will get the value 0 0.31498. We will get the product of this decimal and the number 2 and we will get 0 0.63. And this is the amount of plutonium dash 241. Of course, we will not forget the unit of measurement, and that is the gram. So for our quick computation using calculator, from this part of the computation, we can write 2 times 2, the symbol raised, and then open parenthesis, negative 5, divided by 3, and close parenthesis. Then hit the equal sign, and you will get the value 0 0.63. This is our final answer. Hi everyone, today we are going to study compound interests. If an initial principal P is invested at an annual rate R and the interest is compounded n times per year, the amount A in the account after T years is given by this formula. A as a function of T is equal to P, this P is the principal, multiplied by the quantity constant 1 plus the fraction R, which is the rate, divided by N. This N is the number of times the interest is compounded and this binomial here is raised to an exponent which is a product of n times t. Again, this n is the number of times the interest is compounded per year and the t is the number of years. Please note if the interest is compounded yearly, n equals 1. If the interest is compounded semi-yearly, the n equals 2. If the interest is compounded quarterly, it means every 3 months, n equals 4. If the interest is compounded monthly, n equals 12. Let us have an example. Suppose an Omani Real 500 is invested in an account which offers 4% compounded monthly. Letter A express the amount A in the account as a function of the term of the investment T in years. Letter B, how much is in the account after 3 years? And letter C, how long will it take for the initial investment to triple? Let's start with letter A, 
But first, let us write our compound interest formula here. And then, let us collect the given data from the problem. First is the P, the principal, which is 500 Omani Rials. We will write 500. Next is the R, or the rate, which is 4%. And we will write this as a decimal, and this is 0 0.04. So using our calculator, we may do 4 divided by 100. You will get this value. And the N, which is stated here, compounded monthly. And monthly means 12. Let us now substitute the values to our formula here. So we have now A as a function of T equals 500. So the P now is substituted by 500 times the constant 1 plus the R. We will now write the decimal value 0 0.04 divided by the N which is 12. And this quantity is raised n times t. And this is now 12 times t. We will simplify the terms inside the grouping symbol. The 0 0.04 we divide by 12. And the result here we will add to 1. So we have now this 1.00333. And this is again raised to 12t, the 500 we copy here, and this is now the function of A with respect to T. And this equation here is our answer for letter A. So we can write this below this A, then we will proceed with problem B. How much is in the account after 3 years? So we are going to use this function a of t is equal to 500 times the quantity 1.00333 and this is raised to 12t. In letter b, the time is given as 3 years. So we will substitute the number 3 to that letter t in the exponent. And when we multiply 12 times 3, we will get the 36. Then using our calculator, we can have a quick computation. So 500 times 1.00333. Then we use the raise up symbol. And we put 36. And hit the equal sign. You will get this value. 563.569 and this is the amount in the account after 3 years. So we will put this value opposite letter B. We are now ready to answer letter C. So this is the problem. How long will it take for the initial investment to triple? So in letter C, the time is required. And the given is the principal is now tripled. So 500 is the initial principal. We multiply this by 3. It becomes 1,500. And that 1,500 we will substitute to the final amount. So we will have in here now 1,500 equals the same right hand value. So it's here. And from here we're going to simplify because we want to get the t value here. First let us divide the equation by 500. So the left hand side becomes 3 and this is equal to the right hand side the 500 is cancelled out. So we have now 3 equals 
333 raised to 12t. Again, our goal is to get the value of t. This time, we're going to get the logarithm of both sides of the equation. So we have now log of 3 equals the log of this 1.00333 raised to 12t. So in here, we can see that the log has no base, but we must understand that the log without any base means this is a common logarithm and this is in base 10. And on the right side, we can now simplify this further because of the power 12t and the principle of logarithm. We can now put this 12t as a factor of the log. The 12t now comes down here as a factor to be multiplied to the log 1.00333. And the left side is just the same. Now, to get the value of t, we're going to divide the equation by all the numbers that are coefficients of t. And those are this 12 and the log of 1.00333. And if we do this, the t will now be isolated and on the left side, we will have log of 3 all over the product of 12 times the log of 1.00333. Now let us use the calculator. We are going to encode this log 3 divided by open parenthesis 12 times the log 1.00333 close parenthesis and hit the equal sign and you will see the value 27.6 and this t is in years so this is the answer for letter c we will just put this answer opposite c we have answered now all the questions and we are done with this problem. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.